Hi guys, before I show you my review, I just wanted to think about the people of Manchester and London at the moment and the terrible situation they're going through and all my love to the families and the friends that are getting hurt in this situation that they're having uh, with the terrorist situation. And I just wanted to basically reflect on what's happening at the moment. I'm just going to send a message out to those people who watch my channel that you guys will send out prayers, love and hope to the people of Manchester, the people of London, that, you know, we can stay strong with them and show that we're not afraid, that we will have no fear and we will stand together in this, in this terrible time. So I just wanted to reflect on what's going on at the moment. I'm just hoping you guys can think about all the people that's having these problems as well and send your prayers out. And without further ado, may I introduce my review for Pirates of the Caribbean. Jack Sparrow is back with the Black Pearl. I'm a little disappointed actually. Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man Tell No Tales, all for argumentative reasons. Pirates of the Caribbean, Salazar Revenge, whichever title you want. So, Jack Sparrow is back. So, Anna is on a mission to find the legendary treasure of Poseidon's trident. And in order to find it, he must... You must hunt down Jack Sparrow and ask for his help. So Jack Sparrow joins the Poseidon, but they are encountered by an evil revenge villain called Captain Salazar. A dead, a dead pirate that wants revenge on Sparrow for what he did to him so many years ago. Also joining them, the, also joining them with the help of Jack and his good friend, Henry Barbosa, who is now, as you remember, captain of the Queen Anne's Revenge with Blackbeard's legendary soul sword and commander of the seas. Arrgh! Joining them on the quest is a Karina, a astronomer who's called, who wishes to join them because she, she too is seeking the, seeking the trident to finally find her long lost secret to the answer to who her father is. I was expecting this to be a lot better than what it was. It's fun, it's not brilliant. One problem I have with this movie is it's disappointing. I was, you know, it's such a shame. I was waiting a long, long time for this. And when I saw it, I was like, well, that's a disappointment. Jack's, Johnny Depp returns as Jack Sparrow. He was brilliant. This. What I love about his character is he's still hilarious, still brilliant, there's nothing wrong with his character, he suits this role perfectly, it's amazing. It's brilliant. Jeffrey Rush plays Captain Barbosa, the sailor of the Queen Anne's Revenge, and he's back as well uh, with his brilliant character. Again, he's always out for something, something that can make advantage of him. What's in it for Captain Barbosa? But what's different about this story is there's something you didn't know about Barbosa that is said in the film that you never knew before, which is another intriguing pathway to Barbosa's past, which we haven't experienced. You've also got Jevi R. Bedem as the evil Captain Salazar. This guy will give kids nightmares for weeks. He is terrifying, horrific, evil, manipulative, and extremely scary. I think it's one of the best villains we've kind of seen on the Pirates Caribbean. He even beats he even beats um, Davy Jones from Dead Man's Chest. You've got Kaya. You've got Kaya Scodelario who you'll remember from the Maze Runner, she plays Karina. What's great about her character is she's basically, the people are very prejudiced against women in this time. And they seem to think that astronomers who can control the stars are witches. So there's people who judge her all the time and she, she likes to stand up for herself. She's this girl who will get, do what she wants. She'll say what she wants and she don't care what the law says. She don't care what other people think of her. She will try. She is, she is determined to find her long lost father's secret. And she'll do that whoever stands in her way. And she's a brilliant character because we kind of see the devotion, the persuasion, the motivation of her character of how she wants to find her this secret. Brenton Thwaites, as you'll know from uh, Maleficent, who played Prince Charming, he plays Henry Turner. Now, he's a lot like 
are a lot, even when you look at them, they're a lot like Elizabeth Swan and Will. You can kind of see resembling personalities, resembling connections, and the chemistry between, between these two really work. And you know, it's really good how they do it because he's adventurous, he's so, he wants to get this mission, and there is a real reason why he wants this beside and trident, but I won't tell you because you have to watch the film. But you know, he's really good, his acting's fantastic in this, it's brilliant. Kevin McNally returns as Gibbs. We do love Gibbs when he comes with Jack Sparrow. I mean, I don't. We, we're probably wondering why the hell he stuck around with him. He, or he, he gets into more trouble with Sparrow than does anyone else. And the entire crew is back as well. So, you know, the characters were not the problem. The effects were. This film is fun. It's not brilliant. It's not horrendous. It's just fun. The problem with this film is there are too many characters. There are so many villains, thieves that were put in this. They just cram it all in. And it was fine the way it was. You didn't need to add extra characters. I don't, there's specific, there's a specific group of um, characters, which I won't spoil for you. But when you watch it you'll be like well you didn't really need them they were pointless and they went off after what an hour so and you know there was no motivational pathway to them there's not not at all cameras another thing were another problem with this the problem with the with film is the camera and the lighting and how it's kind of like portrayed you can hardly see what's going on if you're trying to go for a nightmare kind of you know aspect with a bit of lighting with it then maybe you've got to make sure the audience can see it before you show it because I was literally like trying to squint my eyes during this film, going, okay, I can't really see what's going on here. I kind of got out of the film to think about, well, what do you think is going to happen? And I can't stay focused in the film when I can't see anything. And there was, um, there was some comedy in this film that, that didn't really work either. I mean, there's some jokes that were just put in it for the sake of the film. And I just was like, well, you know, you could have made it a bit more... It could have worked a lot more. And this, there was some terrible effects. You know, they were supposed to do some brilliant effects, but you could hardly see the great special effects. I mean, they've got these great special effects, but you can hardly see them because it's so coloured black, you can't really see what's going on. But it's not all bad. I mean, the storyline is brilliant. I love the storyline, the way the adventure is kind of thing, and the way that they, um, they show how they get the trident. Ja the back and forth between Jack and Henry works really, really well. There's also two surprise characters in it, which I'm really glad they came back in this. I really miss these characters. I can't reveal who it is, but that will be brilliant. Uh, there's some fantastic fights. Great ship battling scenes between Salazar and Pi Caribbean. And some great intimidation scenes. The one problem I have with the scenes, one small problem with the scenes, is they were too short. I mean, I'm sorry, but they were really short. I mean, one point, you were literally a four-second scene, and they cut to the next. The scenes were so short, I didn't have time to try and understand them. So that was kind of, like, rushed. If they'd taken more time in this movie, it could have been great. But in my opinion, this film was kind of part rushed, part good. Um... I did like, there are some funny moments in it that will make you laugh. And of course, as I said before, Johnny Depp is hilarious. So for all those reasons I've said, I'm going to give Pirates of the Caribbean, Salazar Revenge, three star. Oh, Salazar's Revenge. Have you guys seen the new Pirates of the Caribbean film? What did you think about it? Please let me know in the comment section below, just below this video. If you do like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Share the video with friends. Thanks ever so much for watching, guys. Thank you so much for 